Hi, this is Wiley Sharp with Denison Yachting, and today I want to take you on board this 2012 Lagoon 450. Uh, we're on board her in Puerto Rico, but she's making her way up to New England and will be available for viewings up there. I'm going to put the uh, full description and uh, spec sheet down below. So if you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to shoot me an email or leave a comment. We're going to make our way around the uh, starboard weather deck first. All the hatches are uh, flush on the Lagoon 450, which is nice. Well, except for the four peak hatches. Before we go up forward, I just want to kind of take a quick pano here on the hard top and we'll go up to the flybridge. But the, uh, the owner of the boat put in uh, over a thousand watts of solar here. So in the middle of the day, he's cranking out 20, 30 amps into the batteries, which has really cut down his generator usage. Making our way up forward, we've got our two V-berths. So we've got this one, whoa. Sorry about that, everybody. We've got this one here forward. We've got a bow seat. Nice split trampoline. We've got the other four peak over there. And then the forward cockpit area. The anchor chain was replaced in 2015, as well as the anchor was upsized to a uh, larger anchor with a Mantis style uh, shackle on it. Coming around here on the starboard, or I'm sorry, the port side, take another look at all that uh, solar that was added. And we'll take a look at that from up top as well. It's also a good place to look up at the uh, custom Chris Spencer hardtop, which uh, also has solar on it as well. Um, you know, that hardtop makes that flybridge so much more comfortable in my opinion, uh, as well as gives you a lot easier access to the sail bag and uh, another place to uh, tack on a few more solar panels. Moving over here on the weather deck, I'm gonna kind of come in close on the, uh, on the uh, um, uh, chain plate there. You'll notice on the inboard side, the owner added that uh, stainless plate right there. That's kind of one of the areas on the Lagoon 450 that's known as being a little bit on the weaker side. And so he beefed it up just to give the rig a little bit more inte structural integrity. We're gonna go up to the flybridge and then we'll make our way around to the cockpit. So all of the winches on Catlo are electric winches. So you've got two over here on the port side, two over on the starboard side. We've got the Yanmar controls over here, as well as the Raymarine electronics, which were updated in 2016. Uh, this boat also has the SD60 sail drives, uh, which is a huge upgrade over the SD50s that came on the boat. Forward of the helm, you can see some of the solar panels there, as well as the uh, forward uh, sun pads. All of the sail control lines lead right back here to the cockpit. And I'm just going to come out here and kind of show you guys the hard top a little bit. So you can see up top how he's got some solar up there. There's also some windows so you can uh, still see the sail from beneath the hard top. We're going to make our way down the starboard steps and then we're going to come around the stern, make our way to the cockpit. So here on the starboard side, we've got one of the two, um, or one of the two sugar scoops, one of the swim ladders. Through that deck hatch is one of the mechanical spaces that houses the Yanmar diesel and the SD60 sail drive. I'm going to do a pano here from uh, through the cockpit. You know, the, when they when they replaced the Lagoon 440 with the Lagoon 450. This cockpit area was, I think, one of the biggest improvements on the boat. I mean, the flybridge is kind of comparable to what you have on the 440, but this cockpit and the salon are just such an improvement over the predecessor. We've got dinghy davits, and you'll see they're gusseted so you can fit a nice large tender on the dinghy davit, as well as an electric winch for the dinghy davit, and the second mechanical space. She's got full cockpit cushions as well as uh, these decorative pillows that really look nice on the boat. There's plenty of storage in the cockpit beneath the uh, seating. And then we've also got a cockpit refrigerator here. As well as a cockpit ice maker. And uh, you know, they've used this boat for private crude yacht charter. And uh, you can see the way they've got the bar area set up there over on the port side and how there's a pass through from the galley. I mean, it's just a really, really well set up boat for crude yacht charter. Hey. 
Let's go ahead and take a look inside. As you step in, it's a bright, airy, open salon. Kind of one of the things the Lagoon 450 is most well known for is just how you know large this space is. The uh, headroom's carried all the way forward. The windows are vertical, so you've got just a uh, really big open area feel. Starboard forward, we've got indoor dining for you know at least six. You could probably squeeze eight around there if you wanted to or needed to. Forward port, we've got the nav station, all new Raymarine electronics done in 2016. Moving aft, we've got on the port side, the U-shaped galley. Tons of storage, not just below, but also tons of storage up high. Three burner cooktop, oven, broiler, microwave, a dual basin sink, as well as a refrigeration unit. I'll do a quick pano through the uh, salon here. We're gonna go over to the starboard side next. We've got some more cold storage through here. More storage in there. Hideaway television. The electrical panels inside this cupboard here. More storage up top. I'll do another pano through the salon. So as I've already mentioned, they run this boat as a crew yacht charter boat. It's an owner operator. So the boat's fully kitted out and ready to rock and roll for uh, charter use. We're gonna go down the starboard side and uh, check out one of the guest cabins. So we've got a semi walk around queen size berth here. Storage down below it. Hanging locker here. I love the lagoon, how they do these, you know, huge portals on the outboard side, as well as the hatch up top. I mean, it's just a very bright, open cabin. On the outboard side, we've got one of the uh, four heads on the boat. Shower stall forward, so it's a separate dry head. We've got our single basin sink vanity storage and then electric head the starboard ford cabin is the owner's cabin i'm going to show you the port ford cabin which is identical uh, but we're going to respect his uh, privacy so we're going to pop across the salon and go look at those two staterooms over there Moving aft, we've got another uh, stateroom here. It's identical to the one on the starboard side. Now this boat, as I've already mentioned, has never been in bare boat charter. It's only ever had a professional captain on it. And you can really tell, I mean, it does not show like a bare boat. It shows like a privately owned boat. We've got our second guest head here with a separate shower stall, single basin sink, vanity, and then electric head. And then we'll move forward. And that takes us to our final uh, stateroom on the boat. Now this one's identical to the one that they're using as the owner's suite or the captain's quarters. Uh, so this will give you an idea of what that space looks like. Kind of come in here and do a pano. The blind's drawn shut. So if you do want to make the cabin nice and uh, dark for taking a nap or having some privacy, that's obviously an option. And then our final, uh, final head with the shower aft, vanity and sink, and then electric head. So that's the Lagoon 450 Catlow. The uh, full spec sheet is in the description down below. Hope you guys enjoyed that walkthrough as much as I did. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below, shoot me an email, and as always, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks and have a good day.